Today I'm going to talk about a useful tool of Sony Vegas that helps you save your time and organize your project which is the markers for example now we have this media this song we drop it now what are the markers to begin with those are the markers those orange lines they are used to highlight a specific point on your timeline and it helps you to organize your your project and it saves your time you will see why now how how to use it for example we want to highlight this point because we have a peak here or a beat that we want to highlight it you you can do it in two ways first you need to set your your pointer at the point you want to highlight you can do it in two different ways whether you you go to insert marker and Sony Vegas will assign an, a number from 1 to 99 to your marker and you can name it as well for example sample so we have a marker and we have a name for it and the number and the other way to set a marker you can just simply press M on your keyboard you can name them any name you would like to for example now top here fast your timeline pointer is anywhere in your timeline you can jump directly to to the to the marker you want to go to simply by pressing the, the numerical number of your marker for example if we press one we'll go to marker one and so on to relocate your marker you can just simply press in this square hold and drag and drop it on the new location now for example if we have this clip we we drop it on our timeline we just delete this track because we don't need it right click delete track how markers can save your time is by for example if you want to place this this event here on marker one you just press hold and drag and it will when you get close to it it will automatically attract to it so you, you can just drop it and instead of looking to the exact place you want to drop your event on for me how I use it if we have a song like this one it involves a lot of pace and melody change so for example here the melody changes so we can set a marker by pressing M and name it whatever you like but we can name it change change in pace and we can name this one drop and here change again and so on after that after you have organized and planned your your song you can focus on the divided parts for example here we have the beat the melody that repeats itself so you can mark the beginning of each melody so you can do what whatever you like to like this for example and if you have fat, fast beats you can even mark them easily Here it's hard to identify the point where the beat was from the waveform because the, the music is too loud. So what you can do is you come over here, you drag it to the left, for example yeah 0 0.56 is enough. What happened now is everything on your timeline will be previewed slower than the original speed. So in that way you can set your marker in the best position for the best timing. And now if we, we want to reset it to the normal speed so we double click on this triangle. Now you can see the normal rate. So if you play it now you will see how accurate our markers were. So those are the applications that I've found. You can find other applications and uh, it will help you out to save your time. Hope that you get something new from this tutorial. It's me Los Controy. Peace.